What is up, everyone? Guys, listen up. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the one and only Plasma Shotgun. With the latest update, it got very interesting buffs. So let's take a look. First of all, they increased the projectile speed. This just makes the weapon feel so much better. And on top of that, it's just much easier to use as well. Another really great thing is that they decreased the damage fall off on the explosion. This is one of the main factors. It's going to feel way more consistent. Not only does it kill chargers, but it kind of became this amazing amazing finisher move when it comes to battle titans and yes some of these things the plasma shotgun could do before but now it just does it so much easier so much better and so much more consistently okay now we're gonna take a look at some examples and i'm gonna showcase exactly how to take out battle titans chargers we're gonna break those clips down on lower difficulty because that is the best way to do some testing and showcase everything and after that we're gonna showcase the gameplay on hell dive if you guys do enjoy this video and only if you do make sure to slap that like button sub to the channel i'm also going to be creating what i think is the best build against determinants after all the changes with the latest update so stay tuned for that and now let's jump right into it so let's take a look at some bile titan clips here at the beginning as i mentioned this weapon has become the best finisher move to destroy titans now it works really well with some of the stratagems that either deal good damage or have the ability to break the titan's armor that's the perfect combo something that has the ability to create a crack in that armor. That's what you're looking for. But in some cases, you're not even going to need stratagems. For example, in this clip, you'll see that I'm going to go down here. I believe it is a charger rushing me. Boom, I'm down. Now we're obviously going to be flying back in, right? At this point, a lot of the times what we do is we land on the Titan. But keep in mind, let's say you don't have any of your gear, no stratagems, no support weapons. What do you do in that case, right? And this is why I like the plasma shotgun, especially after the changes. You can take out Bile Titans just with this weapon. You will see that right here. Boom, perfectly placed shot and he's done. That's a GG right and things like that make this weapon so good now this was possible before but it was way less consistent way way less consistent and the reason for that was simple the projectile speed was slower so you couldn't always land it to make that work the fall off on the explosion was worse which made it less forgiving now one of the best combinations with the plasma shotgun is this right here i like to throw the rail cannon it doesn't kill a full hp titan but then you just destroy them with the plasma shotgun it's really a perfect fit for everything at the moment this also works with the 500 kg if you land a 500 kg and you do not kill the bile titan you just move away shoot at him around the shoulder area and i'm going to showcase that perfectly here in the next clip but in this one take a look at this this guy broke the armor with arc thrower and he took like four or five extra hits the titan's still up but as soon as i get there and land one or two hits the titan is dead it's just as simple as that guys the explosion the increased projectile speed all of those things made all of this way easier and forgiving to take out the titans take a look at this just like that easy peasy as long as you hit in that area where you saw the shot go you are going to be getting the kills on the titans now take a look at this next clip and this is where you're going to see exactly where i'm landing the shot it's it's that shoulder area you see that that's where it is that's shoulder area after you crack his armor that's where you gotta hit him that's the perfect spot that's the consistent spot. And I know that people are going to ask this question, so I'm just going to go over it right here. But can't the Scorcher, the Crossbow, or the Eruptor do the same job as the Plasma Shotgun? Let me explain why the Plasma Shotgun is just going to be a greater option no matter what. When we're talking about the Scorcher, the explosion of the Plasma Shotgun right now is just much better, which means that you're going to have way more space for error. Even if you don't land the shot exactly at the spots where you need to, it will still deal damage which is crazy for a primary weapon. On top of that, the add clear potential is also better than the Scorcher. Once again, simply because of how much bigger the explosion is. Obviously, there is a skill gap connected to all of these weapons that I just mentioned because the explosions can damage you, so you gotta be careful. But that's just the level of mastery that you will achieve after a few hours or maybe a few days of gameplay. As for the crossbow, anything that you will achieve with the crossbow, the plasma shotgun pretty much will be doing better. And the eruptor, while being really good against chargers and even bile titans in some cases, you're not gonna be able to take as many ads out as efficiently 
currently as the shotgun and on top of that it's not as forgiving and its ammo economy pretty much also got cut in half this update another thing i want you guys to know that it's not necessary for you guys to deal the damage to the titans all the time if your teammate damages the titan cracks the armor somehow you're good to go it doesn't matter what stratagem they're using even if they're just landing on the titan and it stays alive as you guys saw in the previous clip however the best stratagems that i personally like to pair with it is the rail cannon that works 100 of the time on full hp titans the 500 kg is perfect with the plasma shotgun i also did test the eagle air strikes 110 pods and eats but those were less consistent okay now let's jump into hell dive where you will see how i deal with not only bile titans but chargers and pretty much all the rest so at this range by the way you're fine don't be afraid to use it you can clear a lot of small ads at that range without any issues whatsoever Dude, that stagger. <laughs> Holy shit. You just see the bugs just jump around. And because of the projectile speed, it became so much easier to clear shit, too. So much easier. You can kind of stun lock these guys also. The stalkers, you can easily stun lock them. Obviously, with these guys, you want to create the range though. But keep in mind, you can just take them out just like that. That one's already gone. Easy peasy. But the stagger is one of the strongest parts of this weapon right now. Like, it's really good when it comes to stagger. Come on in, Mr. Charger. Come on in. His tail is gone. That charger be dead. I'll be there in a second. But I need him to turn her. Oh, there he is. I'm right over here, bro. Chill out. Boom. Now turn around. Turn your stupid ass around. sit down like the fact that you can do this is so cool so it's gonna be his right side and then all the way from here you just shoot, you gotta shoot the right side of him and you'll get him over there yeah that joint look at that <laughs> that is so cool dude that was pretty crazy i'm gonna drop it on him yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll go for this guy. Oh, 
I'm working on the other one. Oh, it does. It did get him. Yeah, there we go. Dead. Right shoulder, right shoulder. There we go. Easy peasy. Look how many shots he needs with an arc thrower, dude. After hitting him with a rail cannon. You see what I mean? We do that with a primary in like two to five shots. I mean, we literally have the best community of all time. Oh! Oh, we got no scopes! 